If you're a small channel on YouTube, I can pretty much guarantee that you're doing four things wrong that are decreasing the amount of views that you've currently been getting. And these are mistakes around the sounds that you're using, the type of content you're creating, and so much more. But don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna be solving those four things. And as a result of that, it's going to increase the amount of views that you've been getting lately. In fact, I just helped this creator make these changes and they were able to get a video with over a million views. And I helped this creator make this change also. And guess what? They were able to do the same exact thing, except they got 10 million views and that's in a niche that isn't that big. And I think I can help the same thing happen for you if you simply make sure that you're solving the four things I'm about to share with you in this video. The first mistake that you're making is every single one of your YouTube videos is simply just telling people something. And this is a mistake that so many small channels make. And if you go and look at any big channel on YouTube, they're actually doing something completely different, whether they're uploading a long form video or they're uploading a short. And they're showing and telling you exactly what they're doing. The reason that this works and what it's called is adding B-roll into your content. Essentially, you need to be showing people what else you're talking about within the video. Because if you're not doing that, it's going to lead to a decrease in attention span, which ultimately is going to lead to a decrease in views. In fact, I don't think there are any creators out there that have successfully created a large channel on YouTube without implementing B-roll into their content because you need to be increasing B-roll in order to increase the emotional touch that people are feeling. And in addition to that, it's going to keep people watching for a longer period of time, ultimately increasing the amount of views that you're getting. Now this next issue is not only something that will decrease the amount of views that you're getting, but it also could potentially lead to you getting banned on YouTube if you violate this. And that is using copyright content or using copyright sounds. So many creators mess this up because they'll just randomly use music in order to create a certain mood or in order to create a certain emotion and they don't understand the copyright behind that. And this leads to two things. One, it leads to their views decreasing. And two, for a lot of creators, if they do this enough times, it actually leads to their account getting banned. And I've seen this happen to so many people, especially after they start to get some traction. And that's exactly why I use today's video sponsor, Epidemic Sounds. If you guys wanna get copyright music, copyright sounds, copyright theme sounds, this is the website that you need to go to and I strongly suggest you sign up right now. In fact, if you go to the link in the description below or the link in the pinned comment, you can get started today with a 30 day free trial and this is a no brainer. If you wanna create a certain mood within your content, which is going to help you get more views, you wanna use certain music in your content, which is going to help you get more views. And ultimately, you wanna be rest assured that the content that you're uploading doesn't have any copyright when it comes to the sounds or the music that you're using, you need to use Epidemic Sounds. And I literally wouldn't upload any content to YouTube unless the sounds came from there. And the reason being is that they're not only gonna provide you with the sound effects or music that's going to help you increase your views, they're also going to provide you with peace of mind because you don't have to worry about getting a copyright strike if you're using the content that they have on their website. And the best part is everything that you post during your trial period, it's protected. You can cancel and you still won't get a copyright strike. So please go to the link in the pinned comment below and sign up right now for your 30 day free trial. But we can't stop there. There are two other things that I need to make sure that you're doing in your content because doing these things is one of the reasons that you're seeing a decrease in views. The third thing is you need to make sure that you're actually qualifying the topic of the piece of content you're creating. I see so many small channels mess this up. They make videos about the things that they wanna make videos about. Well, guess what? That's not how you actually get views on YouTube. If you actually wanna get views on YouTube, you need to be talking about things that people care about. A huge mistake that I see so many small channels make is all they talk about is themselves. You shouldn't be doing that. You need to be talking about things that people actually care about. And the way that you do this is by actually looking into topics that your potential audience cares about. For example, if I were to create a video about how to grow on Instagram right now, talking about verification would be a very serious thing that I talk about. Or talking about reels versus photos would be another thing because I know those are the things that people are talking about within that audience. Whatever content you're making right now, whether it be fashion, crypto, fitness, the NFL, the NHL, it could be anything, you need to make sure that you are going in and actually seeing what people are talking about. Another great example, if you make NFL content or sports content, OBJ going to the Ravens is going to be a huge thing. Seeing that he was partying the other night is going to be a huge thing. And you need to make sure that you're actually touching on these topics and you need to make sure that you're also adding in the last two things that I share with you, which is that you need to be using non-copyright music, non-copyright sounds in order to make a motion within your content. And you also need to be adding a B-roll because when you mix all three of those things together, a trending topic with the right emotional sounds, with the right emotional B-roll, you actually get people to watch your videos and this is going to lead to an increase in views if you don't forget this last tip. 
and that is that you're not actually reciprocating the love that your audience is giving to you. When's the last time that you actually responded to a comment or you went and subscribed to some random person's channel? You guys need to make sure that you're doing these things. In fact, I would be doing these things a lot and I did it to gain over 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. The reason being is this is something that Mr. Beast and creators like Logan Paul were able to tap into. You know what they did in the early days? They made every single viewer of their channel make it seem like they were the only viewer and you need to make sure that you're doing that too because once you do that to somebody, guess what's going to happen. The next time they get served your content, they're going to watch the whole entire video. It's going to help boost you in the YouTube algorithm and ultimately your video is going to get pushed out more. And if you're wondering how to get people to comment on your video or even how many comments you need on a video to make a video go viral, well then please check out this next video put up on the screen because it's going to answer all the questions around how many likes you need to go viral on YouTube and how many comments you need in order to have that post get more than a million views.